What's up, Internet World? Thwip! I don't need this today. That's how we start? Yeah, thwip. 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 We're the News 19 nerds. <laughs> I'm Leroy. <laughs> that person is Michael. I'm Miles Morales. Just fatter. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah. We saw Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Yes. Um, yes. This was our trailer, post-trailer, post-movie reaction review. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to start off by giving the first hot take of this and say... Oh, you better not say nothing. Um, you better not say nothing, man. This might be the best comic book movie ever. Whoa! I didn't think you were going that deep. I'm... We gotta get into some spoilers on um, that. Um, so, the re uh, go ahead. But I, right, I'm, I'm, um, I'm gonna prove that this might be the greatest comic book movie ever. Okay, I, I, I won't say you're wrong. Um, so he's Leroy Michael with New Nineteen Nerds. Mm -hmm. Like and subscribe all this stuff. We were told to say that at the beginning of the video. Told, you're, you're welcome, Anakin slash Adam. Told by the man. Told by the man. Um, I really mm -hmm. like this movie a lot. I don't know if it's the best one ever. I kind of, I do have some things. Well, actually, man, we got so many reviews. I want to talk about Aquaman, but that's another video. But, I haven't seen Aquaman yet. Yeah, yeah, because this world was so realized like Aquaman was. But, I mean, just in terms of location and building a sense of a sense of world mm -hmm. and all the worlds, it, mm -hmm. it was, yeah, it's really good. Um, I'm going to go on record by saying I was excited about this movie from day one it was announced. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been following... Uh, Brian, uh, Brian Bendis is one of my favorite writers of all time. Uh, I was not honestly officially sold on Ultimate Comic Spider-Man. Okay. I wasn't sold on the Ultimate line in the beginning anyway. I read a lot of the books, and mm -hmm. they were kind of hit and miss to me. Some of them were good, some of them bad. Okay. Um, I didn't like Ultimate Spider-Man in general. So when they said they were going to kill him, I was like, whatever. And they introduced spider Miles Morales. I wasn't really sold, and then I picked up the I picked up the trade. I missed out on the first appearance. I picked up the trade, and ever since then, I was sold. Okay. I, I it just I was I was won over. Brian Bendis to me. There's a lot of talk right now going on about can. Side note, I'll let you. He also. Revamp Jessica Jones, right? That was he created Jessica Jones. Oh, okay. He did Alias, mm -hmm. aka Jessica Jones. Okay. All right, Bri Brian Bendis created uh, Jessica Jones, okay. uh, created Miles Morales, revamped Luke, Luke Cage, Cage right. okay. revamped the Avengers. Avengers disassembled as Brian Bendis. Okay. He really was the architect of the modern Marvel era for like okay. the last 10, maybe even 15 years. In it, terms it, of comics, okay, not movies. Comics. Well, right. even movies because without... Brian Bendis and Mark, uh, Mark Miller, who created the Ultimate Line, you would not have gotten the MCU. Okay. A lot of so, if you go back and look at the Ultimate Line, the Ultimate Line of comics, which was in the '90s, they decided Marvel Comics had too much continuity, and they just had too much. So they said, if the Marvel Universe was created in the '90s, mm -hmm. what would it look like? So they reimagined the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, uh, the X-Men, and that was the world they created. Without Literally, Brian Michael Bendis and Mark Miller with uh, Brian Hitch, uh, Sarah Pacelli, uh, I could go on, uh, Warren Ellis. They All right. realized this new universe that, brought, that my, uh, Miles Morales came out of. All right, so let's get back to Miles Morales and still non-spoilers for this movie. Um, I don't believe I spoiled anything. No, no, you haven't. That's what okay. I'm saying. We're doing non-spoilers okay. right now. What can you say without spoiling? It's tough, only because you just want to talk about this and then no, this and I, I then can, this. I, I, I will say this. Without spoiling the movie... Mm -hmm. This movie, animation-wise, I've seen a lot of animations. A uh, Question for you, but go ahead. A Adam is an anime fan. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a fan of anime, regular Pixar animation, DreamWorks. Uh, it doesn't matter. This movie has everything you could imagine. I've never seen a movie look like this. The soundtrack is really good, too. The, so the like, soundtrack is really there's good, There's a too. part that, I, like... I was, a, I was one of those people who was on the fence about having, like, Post Malone in this. And I was like, there's a scene where you hear... He's a voice in the... I'm not sure if he's a voice, but he's I, know a voice. His, I know his music is in there. Like, he's it's, also a it's, voice. It's yeah. integral to the movie. Yeah. This movie is a movie for... It doesn't matter who you are. You could be a green frog. You could be a pink Power Ranger. You could be 
Yogi Bear. Mm -hmm. This yep. movie is for any and everyone. This is a beautiful movie. This is a family movie. I went to see it at 1030 at night because I'm be honest with you, I mm -hmm. wanted to see it with nobody else around. I wanted to see it by myself. How many people in your theater? Five people. I had three people in my theater. Really? Yeah. And I'm be honest with you. Even and it was though, great. Great experience. It was great experience, but I'm not going to lie to you. Part of me wishes I had seen it earlier in the day to see it with the families, families and to kids. See the seat, the seat, because there were so many different moments in this movie. Yeah, this movie is rated P, uh, G. This movie oh, it's PG, right? is it PG? I thought it was rated I, I, G. I doubt it's a G. I watched the uh, John Mulaney doing uh, an I mean, interview. We don't have a good. Um, and he was saying that they told him it was rated G, so it it might be rated PG. Okay. Um, out of every movie I've seen this year, this to me was one of the top five movies of the year pg it's pg yeah this movie fiction. this movie was one of the top five movies of the year this is rival spider-man homecoming as best spider-man of all time friend of the show friend of the show chuck ringwall said it's his favorite spider-man it i mean honestly I to, him to me i was like i gotta see them both again like i honestly looked for a movie time today to see if i could see it again today that's mm -hmm. how much i like this movie whatever merchandise comes out this movie was amazing okay. i am I mean, I'm putting it. I'm, I'm telling you right now. This movie, as far as good, rivaled as good as Infinity War. I don't think anything touches Infinity War or Spider-Man into the Spider Verse, and that's just how good I think this movie. So is. better than Black Panther. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just, just Not, no hate. Special no hate. effects alone. Yeah. This Black Panther story is great. This is a unique story of a a young man coming of age, understanding his place. And finding out that he is not alone, and the the Stan Lee cameo, uh, the 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 father son dynamic between Miles and his dad, uh -huh. the parent teacher relationship between Miles and Peter Parker, I yeah. th I mean, if this was a Star Wars movie, this would be the best Star Wars movie of all time. Okay. <laughs> Any negatives? No. Really. I, that I could not see it again immediately afterwards. So when you were watching it, this is non-spoiler, but were there times when you thought the movie was out of focus? That, I think, was an animation. In intentional? I think it was yeah. intentional. Because I was watching, like, I, I, there, were, there were a couple points where I'm like, am I, I thought I was in the 3D showing because part of it was out of focus, but I was like, no, no it just seemed weird. It, Maybe it, it was done that way on purpose. The, if, you, if you go back and... That's I'm, a small... I'm small sorry movie. if I do not get all of these names. Um, I, I, I do not remember all the animators, but there was a, I've been following a lot of them on Twitter. If you go back and listen to some of these guys and the girls who animated this movie who were uh, car, uh, designers, they said we literally made five movies in one. So you see so many different anime styles from Penny Parker being anime from Spider-Man Noir uh, with Nicolas Cage. Nick Cage. Nick Cage made up for all of oh, his bad movies with this like one movie. Noir Spider-Man is so cool. Um, so the, the, the animation that's overlaid with Spider-Ham mixed in with um, Spider-Gwen, you had literally so many different animation styles in this movie that it, it did, it was, it was jarring. So I'm gonna expl I'm gonna tell you we're going into this movie. Be prepared for seeing something you've never seen before. It I'm, really is a moving comic book. It, that's what and, I mean. And more as far as far as a comic in book, the purest sense, like this is a comic. This book is a you're comic watching. book movie. Yeah. I, like I ha my hats off to Sony because I think only someone like who's not in the MCU you saw it in association with Marvel in the beginning. I think someone had to be outside of the MCU to make this type of movie. Now, hopefully going forward, Disney and Marvel say, we can do that. Because as far as Marvel's animation has been, uh -huh. it has been trash. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's, it's been, it has not been good. Live action movies are great, but they're, in they're terms animation, of animated movies, DC I would, I would has DC, been, over, DC yeah. hands down, um, slays them. Like, shouts out to Lord from Lord, the Lord Miller. Mm -hmm. um, Great um, script. Now imagine what they would have done with their solo. That's what, seeing this movie, so, I was like, see, man, see, I want to go back and now, see now Solo. Go, now go back. Definitely. People, because yeah. uh, the things that they have done, mm -hmm. now imagine if they had Marv, if Disney had stuck to their guns and let Solo be whatever it was going to be. Yeah. Be, be, pass or fail. Yeah. What, the, take a shot. Do something right. different. So you don't have any negatives. My I negative, don't. and it's, 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 it is what it is. It's a superhero movie. I kind of feel like some of the characters got shortchanged in terms of 
screen time. And we'll talk about that in terms of developing the character. We can talk about that in spoilers, I guess. Okay. Um, um, I guess I, we're moving to spoilers. I will yeah. say this before we move to spoilers. Uh-huh. Um, one of the things that I loved about this movie was it introduced a, a world of, of different spider people. Um, the intro to the Spider-Verse, they did a very good job of introducing Miles Morales. So if you want to go and pick up the comics, uh, Spider-Man, uh, this right here, uh, com- this is the complete origin story, I would say, from the Ultimate Spider-Verse line. Then you've got Spider-Man, uh, Brian Bendis, his arc uh, after Secret Wars. Then you've got Ghost spider which is actually Squider, uh, Spider-Gwen. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have, if you like the Enter the Spider-Verse with the different Spider-Men, uh, the latest comic from Marvel, spider Get, and it's a five-issue miniseries. The last issue uh, c- comes out this month. And if you want to pick up with a new adventure, uh, this is a brand new issue, just came out like within the last week or so. Um, Miles Morales, new creative team, Solid and Ahmed, uh, Javier Guerin, Great, great starting pickup point for anybody. Um, that I, I can't say enough about the character and the characters in it. Every single character you see has a comic that's attached to it. So if you like the movie and you want to get that feeling to read and carry on with the adventures, pick up some of the comics. All right. So you right now? Yeah. Spoilers. We're getting into spoilers. So non-spoilers, go see the movie. We liked it. Not, uh, great, not spoilers. Loved it. Great um, movie. If you want to stay, I'm, I'm going to do my best not to do, well... No, we're spoiling it. We this are? Is, yeah, this, okay. this is spoilers. All right, yeah, guys. We got it. We're getting into it. If you want right. to keep watching, you know. Hey, put some, uh, some 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 web out of that. This is a spoiler cue. Or this could be a, a, a gif of something, me doing something. This I is. Don't... You guys have fun with that, I guess. I'll just put that out, out into the yeah, world. I'm not going to put that out. There. I know. It I is know. what it is. I don't know what they're going to do. Um, <laughs> so, uh, man. What? Start. Go. <laughs> this is so smart. Like it's it's just it is a com- it is a comic book movie, but it's it's written so well. It's just a smart script. It's not just a script. It was an, an animators who understood. This is one of the things we talked about in one of our last videos. Does everything need to be live action? Some things are animated. You can only do an animation. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about Cowboy Bebop. Can you get away? Because Cowboy Bebop going to be good as a live action. This is a movie that proves you cannot do this. Like, you could not have made this movie like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't, because you all the thought bubbles and stuff of him walking around and everything. When um, he got his powers, it started off as a nice... So, here's my question. How closely does the movie follow the comic book? They take bits and pieces okay. of his origin story. So, it's not, it's not verbatim. And but no, it's, just, it's not. Okay. But a lot of, a lot of the people are um, the same. Miles Morales... Is there a female Doc Ock? In the, in the Spider-Verse, there are alternate versions of each... Okay. Person. So there can be. I'm not sure if there was one in his universe and I missed it, but that was a reveal. A lot of people. Uh, Did you I, see that coming? Only. I didn't. So we should say you, you love Spider Man, especially Ultimate Spider Man. You know Miles Morales. I like comics. I don't know Miles Morales. I mean, I know of him. <sighs> and I know, like, my going back to me, I knew Miles Morales was half black, half Puerto Rican. Yep. Um, I knew in his world, Peter Parker died. Yep. I knew his and uncle his, was the Prowler, and, his, and that's about all I knew about yep, Miles In his world, Spider-Man died. Right. In his world, he was he took up the mantle of Spider-Man, and he was blessed as far as so-and-so being, okay, you're, we're going to work you into being Spider-Man. And they tried to stop him. S.H.I.E.L.D. tried to stop him because they saw the last Spider-Man got killed. Okay. And that was really affected him in the comics as far as, like, that whole great power comes great responsibility. He felt like he don't, owed... Don't give me that line he, again. I mean, oh, but so the thing good. is, he, that was used for him as a vehicle. But the one thing that I think they got right was the bond between Miles Morales and the Spider family. Where Spider-Man always felt like a loner. Mm-hmm. And Miles Morales always kind of had a supporting cast that always kind of looked out for that him. That was the thing. Every, it seemed like every 20 minutes. And it wasn't, it wasn't ham-fisted or it, it didn't beat you over the head. But they were like, you're not alone. You're like me. And that, that's cool. The, the I rela- can imagine little kids feeling like that. Like, hey, The I'm not, relationship you know, between like Aunt May and Miles Morales, I wish they'd have fled. Because in the comics, he has a relationship with MJ and Aunt May because... They know who he is. Okay. They in the comics they know who he, who he is, and they actually kind of look out for him. Cool. And in the comics too, Peter Parker knows who he is. So, even though it's not the same Peter Parker, 
the relationship, the mentor aspect is amazing because that's the one thing I thought that they got so right. The fact that Peter Parker did not want to mentor him. He's like, oh, Jake, <laughs> Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson. Man, he, shout out to you, dude. Like, I really liked him in New Girl. You really killed it in this role. Oh, I loved him in Tag, New Girl. Yeah. Um, Let's Be Cops, even though that yeah, movie Let's was Be horrible. Cops wasn't that great. It wasn't, but he, he, was, was, good. Good. he, he was, was good. He was good. He was good. Yeah. Um, um, he Also, shout out to everybody voice acting-wise. Shamik Moore. Yeah. Uh, um, Chris Pine as the that photo was, Spider-Man. That, like, that was that was, that was another, awesome. Now, that was another hidden thing. The, the female reveal of Doc Ock, Chris Pine, and Isaac, uh, Oscar Isaac at the end. Yeah, as uh, Spider- Miguel, mm-hmm. Spider-Man 2099. Yep. Um, I really like that this movie kind of touched on every type of spider merchandise. Yep. It, it, it touched on, when they said the double... Spider book, the spider beat the Jeep, yeah, the when Christmas they, album. When, when <laughs> Peter Parker... Peter told, B. Parker? Peter who? Peter B. Parker? Yeah, Peter B. Parker, I guess. Um, because I'm he, trying to, yeah, yeah, when I'm he was swinging through the one. forest, yeah. and he said double tap, I was like, oh, they're going back to the video game. Yep. I was like, that was great. They also showed the PS4 Spider-Man costume in the layer uh-huh. off to the side. Yep. The only thing I I didn't see in terms of like not being referenced Spider-Man wise, mm-hmm. Spider-Man wise was like Japanese Spider-Man. No, but, which is fine. But it's, it's a small thing. But they had everything else. I didn't like. Dang, they, they really. Got I, but stuff. I, I will say that I think they had to try to pare it down. So oh yeah, they could, for sure. Because I mean, you brought in five extra main characters. Because I mean, so going back to the the point I'm saying in pre spoilers, I feel like everybody. This was definitely a Miles Morales movie, mm-hmm. even though everybody got a chance to shine. All yeah. the Spider People did. I felt like Kingpin wasn't fleshed out enough. That was something a lot of people also said. Now, and maybe it, it could be because we already know Kingpin. We're used to him, so maybe we don't feel like we have to flesh him out. Well, I also think, but I really like Liev Schreiber as Kingpin. So maybe I just want to hear more. Too. Uh, I, I, I will also say, um, shout out to the animators who I don't know if for those of us who are comic nerds, there was a lot of little. Easter eggs. So the way Kingpin was drawn was drawn like Bill uh, Swankes. The way he drew Kingpin. There's literally that, that image of him being that big. That big, just that big, block. That one of the artists, Bill's, uh, and I swear I'm probably messing up his name. But You're I, trying. But it's Bill Sw- uh, Swankes. That's how he drew the Kingpin. So I, I follow him on Twitter and he was like elated that they used his drawings to animate Kingpin, the way he looked, the enormous size that's hard to get in a live action movie, but you got it in the comic book, that way he domineers and the way he came down on Spider-Man, Right. that is from the comics. So another way that this movie is smart to me in the scripting is, so Peter Parker B, Yep. Um, he's walking into the lab. Mm-hmm. Because they're trying to steal the the what? goober, the goober, uh, the goober. They're trying to steal the goober. He's like, there's always, it's always some kind of. <laughs> and at the beginning of the movie, you see Miles in class talking about multiple dimensions. They're watching mm-hmm. a tape, and you see the doctor, mm-hmm. who you don't know is Doc Ock yet, but you see this female doctor talking about whoever she's leading the lab. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. Um, Peter Parker B sees that video, mm-hmm. or he sees a video, and he sees the two doctors on there. And he's like, okay, the plan is to steal this from the doctor. Mm-hmm. And he automatically assumes that the male doctor is the lead. And he's like, no, 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 it's the female doctor who I is in charge. And, he, and because Miles said, I saw her before. Right. She's the one who taught us about physics. Right. And then he was like, oh, I need to, uh, he said, okay, you figure out this. And, he's, and he says something to the effect of, I'm going to check my preconceived gender biases at the door. Yeah. Which is funny. Ha, 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 ha. And then you don't realize that plays into a further part of the movie because you're still not thinking, oh, Doc Ock has to be a dude. No, it's still this lady. So that's like talking to the audience, like, you should also leave your preconceived gender bias at the door. Smart movie. Just awesome. Like I said, it, to me, the movie was just, there were so many little things if you paid attention. When you've, I don't know if you've noticed uh, when they were scrolling through phones and they were calling each other. Mm-hmm. Um, when Miles called uh, his Uncle Aaron, the name Sarah Pacelli was in the phone. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, when his dad called Miles, the name St- Steve Ditko. Okay. One of the other creators of yeah. Spider-Man was in That's the awesome. phone. Um, so it was little things like that. If you go, like if you remember when they went to, uh, they were in Times Square and Spider-Man first showed up, uh, Nick Kroll and John Mulaney's name is on a billboard oh, in the nice. background. Nice. So it was like, there were so many times in the movie. That's why I say, if you've seen it, you really didn't see it because there's so, so much, much that the, you miss because yeah. there's so much going on. The animation is so bright, so vibrant. You saw it in 2D, right? I saw it in... 
IMAX, RP, whatever that thing yeah. is. I want to see it in 3D. I, I'm I, curious I to see what this would look like in 3D. Especially told, like the swinging scene mm -hmm. or whatever. All that it, it was. I told the man behind the camera because uh -huh. he asked me about it, and I, I said I would see this in 3D. I yeah. don't. I, honestly, I hate 3D movies because I think they're always that up conversion, and they never actually really shoot it in 3D. Yeah. I think this is one of those movies where they thought about this, and again, the I cannot speak enough about the animation. This, so that's why I said to me. This was a comic book come to life. The thought... When have you ever seen a movie that does thought bubbles that well? I mean, I feel like it... It doesn't break the wall as... Breaking it, the fourth wall? Breaking the fourth wall as uh, deliberately as Deadpool does. But I still feel like there's a couple of fourth wall breaks in this movie. That oh, may, yeah. Maybe even smarter than the way Deadpool does it. Oh, in yeah. terms of like thought bubbles and just how stuff happens. Uh, very smart movie. Uh, the soundtrack is great. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been Shemit listening Moore to soundtrack. kills it. As, uh, well, when Morales. Vince Staples' song comes on, when he gets his suit, he goes back to Aunt May, and she's like, "I built these suspect." She's like, "It took you long enough." Yeah. That music, that's that that montage, and I, I will say this: not only is it, to me this was a love letter to a entirely new generation of just comic book fans, but it was a love letter to New York when they played. Um, Mary Mary, when they played Biggie, and then the different music. So when Miles was singing Post Malone, and Peter Parker was like teenagers. Yeah, you, it, it was it was a it was also a love letter to the city of New York because there were so many beautiful skylines that got new that it got New York that idea of walking through the city and then the part where they were on the train and they fell and, and Miles was like, hey, can you guys go around? And he was like, and they were like, yeah. okay, cool. Thanks, Thanks New, New York. York. Yeah, I was like, that's great. Um, what do you feel about Peter Parker B being fat? I loved it. I thought it was great. I loved it. He's like, man, I'm tired. Well, not only tired. He, you, it, I'm, I'm divorced from Mary Jane. He, I buried he, he uh, gave up. May. Yeah, like, he's, he's I'm good. Like, he, like, the one thing I loved about this was it introduced the idea that not ever that that the Peter Parker that we loved was the one who always had stuff going wrong. Like, and then he, through faults of his own, yeah. he messed up. Like, the dinner scene when Mary J was like, can I get some more bread? I'll give and, you all the bread. <laughs> and, 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 it was great. And Gwen Stacy was like, it's not your MJ. He's like, no, no it's going to take a second. Yeah. Like, dude, you, like, you're smart. Mm -hmm. You know that's not, but even in the middle of the mission, he's about to mess it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I like that idea that that those traits, all of them understood that whole idea of I have this power, I should be invincible, I should be able to do anything, and I can't because I have these responsibilities. And the scene that stole it, there are three scenes that stole it for me. Um, one, Stan Lee. Yeah, that was cool. Um, when you bought the fake Spider-Man costume, when, he, when yeah. he told him, when he said, "It always fits." It always fits because um, anybody could be this movie. Anybody could be Spider-Man. That, That's that, what this movie gets. I across. thought that was the Stanley scene was, I mean, emotional for me. Um, one of the best cameos. Mm -hmm. um, I thought the death of his uncle was profound. Is Prowler dead in the comics? No, no. Okay, that was just that was for the movie. His, his uncle in the comics is a supervillain. He is now yeah, the Prowler, Iron, right? No, he's now oh. the Iron Spider. Oh, oh. Yeah. In that universe, he was a Prowler. Okay. So, ba so hold on. I, I, I'll get to that in a second. Okay. So, the last scene that got me was the interaction between Miles and his dad. That was really good. The, the, that, like, that end part where he was like... Hey, good job. Good job, <laughs> officer. Um, that, that was great. The, the, the relationship with his dad, because I'm be honest with you, a father and son relationship has its ups and downs. You grow from being that kid who follows behind your dad and everything your dad does is great. Mm -hmm. And then you become your own man and you're trying to figure it out as Miles is. And then your dad kind of dunks on the stuff that you, because remember when he was like, I love Spider-Man. Yeah, he's like Spider-Man's a menace. Yeah, and then yeah. Spider-Man dies. Yeah. And then he's like, he was there. Yeah. He was there. And his dad is still not, and of course his dad doesn't know. Right. But as an adult, he's like, I'm a cop. We do this and he just shows up. Mm -hmm. So that, his dad changed, and then he could see himself. As, that was a beautiful moment to me. Yeah. Um, I I cannot like I said I have no I have no issue like I rated this a ten out of ten stars. Okay. And I didn't give Black Panther ten stars. Oh. I like. Hey. 
What I told you. I, I mean, I, I think I've said it. I'll say it again. Black Panther is a great movie, not a great superhero movie. To me, I stand by that. This right but here. I think this is better. Yeah. This right here is probably one of the top five superhero movies of all time. I can see that. Like, I mean, I, it 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 tells a really deep story. The thing that got me was when Miles wants to talk to his dad because the prowler just died. Yep. And talk about it, but he knows that he can't because yep. like you're like, how are you there? Who yep. there? And the dad comes to his the dorm, dorm yep. and they state the the this, shooting. Yep. Oh man, it was it was beautiful. Split, I mean, the anim shot. again, I cannot like. That's why I said the way the it was animated. Mm -hmm. This was like like you saw panels, you saw as they were as they were running and thwipping. You saw them using the panels we use in comic books. In the movie, when mm -hmm. remember the introduction from Chris Pine Spider Man, where he talks about I'm Spider Man, and then Jake Johnson comes in and was like, Yeah, I'm Spider Man too. And he's like, eh. Yeah. And they did not waste their time with the Uncle Ben Spider Man origin story. I always thought, I was like, You know, you hear it the first time in Spider Man 1 with Tobey Maguire, great, great power, come great responsibility. You hear it all the time. It got re retread and recycled, yep. and you get tired of hearing it. Then Homecoming does it. And it, it, honestly, it doesn't. Actually, do it. it's actually it's not even homecoming. Homecoming doesn't do Civil it. War does it, where he says, "When you have the powers that I have, and things happen." Yeah. that's essentially the same thing. Yeah. They killed it. And I was like, nobody's gonna do it better. I feel like this did it better because they mention it, they get rid of it, and even Peter, even Peter Parker B is like, "I've heard it. I yeah. get it. We know." Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it, it but it, I mean, it, it's 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 a movie that understands what it is and mm -hmm. what its limitations are. And it, go, I mean, again, it blows it out of the water. My only nitpick is, I could have seen, which I did not think I would. I know everybody loves Spider Ham. I could have seen more Penny Parker. I like Penny Parker. She was Penny funny. Parker. I felt like she was a little and her underutilized spider, in the yeah, Spider Robot. And, and, yeah. her, and I thought that was underutilized. I would have liked to have seen Silk. Hmm. And hopefully in the sequel, because they've already it's said there's a sequel. Yeah, they're, they already said they're getting a sequel. Okay. They um, this movie. It, 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 the last time I checked, made thirty five point nine million dollars. Oh, it is weekend. the biggest opening of a DC animated. Hold on, a Marvel DC, animated. No, December animated movie ever. So thirty for, for December animation, mm -hmm. it has made the most money of any animated movie ever. Opening. Um, opening. Right. So that does well. Sony has said that they've already tried to make a sequel. Um, I don't know if it's going to be female-led. I've heard and read that it's going to be female-led. Be, be down for that. So that would mean a Spider-Gwen, Silk, maybe Penny Parker. We might see May Parker. So Spider-Woman, right? Because that's different Spider from Woman, Silk and Gwen. Which, right? Yep, and so you might see May Parker, which is Peter Parker's daughter from awesome. another dimension. Okay. Um, so uh, you might see a Mary Jane Spider-Woman uh, because Mary Jane becomes Spider-Man uh, Spider or Spider-Woman in another dimension. The, again, the possibilities are endless. So I'm. All right, I got one final thing. That, well, not one final thing, but my last instance of the movie being smart. Usually in a movie like this, you have your superhero. I'm going to tie this into Power Rangers for you in a second. Okay. Okay. You have your superhero in an origin movie. They kind of they learn to use their powers, and stuff is happening. Sometimes either through they're too young or they're too naive to learn how to use their powers and they learn how to get their powers at the end of the movie. Which is cool, but you're kind of like, I kind of wish I saw the powers all yeah. along. Or you have a power who are a superhero who's so smart, they got their powers and they develop and they get stronger, which is cool, but it's like you wish you had the hero's journey. This movie does both because Miles Morales, he is still on that A storyline of learning to become a hero and he gets his powers at the end and he's freaking awesome with it and doing all this kind of stuff. But... You still have other people doing superheroes because you have, you have all the other Spider-Men. Yeah. So I feel like you get the best of both worlds. We also together. got the fact of, and which is one thing that was always to be lost in the Spider-Man movies that I thought Homecoming got right. This is still a young man developing into a man. Yeah. This is still a kid with the responsibility of, I'd say, homeland security. This <laughs> is... Just try to navigate high school. Like, mm -hmm. that's the one thing I think Tom Holland Spider-Man got right. The fact that he's trying to navigate going to the prom. He's trying to navigate all these social structures. You remember when his dad dropped him off? You gotta say it back. Say it back. That's his first day of school. Yeah. Like, yeah. that is a giant F you to your son. Yeah. And he's like, I hope nobody saw that. Then when he meets Gwen, like, yeah. you're trying to navigate the world. Hey, that's, that's great. <laughs> like, you're trying to navigate the world. Yeah. 
and then this happens to you. Like that's mm-hmm. that's a lot to deal with. And then I thought the end brought it home. That one moment when he's in the bed and he's like, anybody can be Spider Man. And he and he said, I'm not alone. Which is I think was a great message to anyone to let make sure that they felt you're not alone in this. And I thought that was one of the things I thought comics did really well. That it brought all the like everybody's now all gushing over comic book movies and all this other stuff. But you I remember when this stuff was not popular. Mm-hmm. I remember when owning this kind of stuff would get you, you were the bully kid. Mm-hmm. And I remember when Miles Morales was first introduced, everybody was like, a yep. black kid can't be yep. Spider-Man. Yep. I thought this movie dealt with that so smartly. Mm-hmm. They didn't really touch it. You had Peter Parker. He did his own thing. They just said, all right, yeah, Peter Parker's here, but this is Smiles' story. Yep. Anybody can be Spider-Man. It, yep. was, it was really smart. I, like well I said, it, to me, I really loved the end of it when it said, when you saw the, the, the slate at the end with Steve Ditko and Stan Lee's name on it. Yeah. And I thought that was one of those things where a lot of people asked. I, I remember it was one of them was Bill Maher, and I, I kind of really did. It really bothered me when Bill Maher said these things. Why is so many people so in love with Stanley and so sad of his passing. It was because he introduced characters like this. Not only did he introduce Spider-Man, you had somebody else who picked up the mandal and Brian Michael Bendis who gave us Miles Morales. And then you had other people, uh, Jason Latour, who gave us Spider-Gwen. Uh-huh. Um, so you had these people who created these characters and they all stem from the original Spider-Man which was created by Stanley and Steve Ditko. Yeah. So that's one of the I thought that slate, and I'm not going to spoil it for you guys out there because I want you to. This is spoilers. I I, I don't want. I, I, okay. I, want, I want. But anyway, I, that moment to me, as a fan watching this stuff and waiting for this moment, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, all of this stuff I own. <laughs> Everything this on this, all his stuff. All this stuff on this table I own, and I have more of it. I just did not bring because I just didn't want to bring it. Yeah. But I have waited for this character. Dude, so all I, the thumbs. All the thumbs. All the thumbs. All the, yeah, yeah. Literally. For sure. Like yeah. This, this, this to me, was my movie of the year. This rivals Infinity War for me. And I've been waiting for Infinity War for a while. Only because Infinity War just left you like... Whew. Yeah. Th- this did not leave... Like, this is a happy movie. This is a happy movie. Infinity War, like, man, your grandma died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, whew. So, closing thoughts. We loved it. Go see it. Uh, Go see it Incredible again. movie. Great storytelling. Great everything. On uh, me, my negative was I wish Kingpin had gotten more time, but that's really a small thing. I just wanted to hear more of Liev Schreiber, which is awesome. Um, um, Mahershala Lee was awesome. Jake Johnson, Zoe Kravitz. Um, shout out to Brian Tyree Henry. Sh- yep. Shamik Moore. Shamik Who's Moore. Zoe Kravitz? Zoe Kravitz was Mary Jane. Oh, interesting. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, Lake Bell was Vanessa Fisk. Awesome. Um, I like everybody who, uh, John Mulaney, Spider Ham. Nick Cage made up for all of his terrible movies. Uh, that Kami- Rubik's Cube Kamiko was done so well. Is it Kamiko Glenn? She's the woman, she's the Asian girl from Orange is the New Black. She was Penny Parker. Okay. Uh, uh, um, your boy. Post Malone was a bartender. Um, who's the guy, the bad guy in Black Lightning? The, light, the, the albino dude. Uh, I know who you're talking about. He's Tombstone. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, I just, I, I could, I can't, yeah. I see his Catherine name. Catherine Hahn was uh, Olivia Octavius or yep. whatever her name was, Elizabeth, whatever. Mm-hmm. Female Doc Ock. So, uh, I mean, fun movie. let us know, let us know what things we like, little things we missed. Like I said, I know I saw Steve Ditko's name in a phone. I saw Sarah Pacelli's name. Where was Brian Michael Bendis' name? Uh, Where does this rank in terms of the Spider-Man movies for you? I, 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 go, I don't know. It's it goes, between this and Homecoming. Yeah, I need to see Homecoming, Homecoming again. But I'm be right now. And I need to see this. More and homecoming. This and Infinity War, like this, like I'm, 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 I want you to see. I don't think Aquaman is going to. I feel positive Aquaman will not beat this for you in terms of oh, level. No. But Aquaman's a lot of fun. I'm not gonna say it's not. It looks and I, and like I'm a lot of fun. To and I love Jason Momoa, it. but yeah. I, like for me, I have waited for this movie for since they first announced it. When I saw that Variety headline yeah. that said Sony is going through with a Miles Morales movie and it was gonna be animated. I was all I was hesitant, but I was like, I want to see it. Yeah, this movie is like I, this movie is everything to me. I cannot tell you guys. I, I've, I've trashed a lot of stuff on here. We know it's <laughs> it's on film. Shout out to Robin Hood. Anyway, I'm lying, man. I still ain't seen that movie.
So it is what it is. Um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, yeah. all that stuff. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Um, about the movie and you know the yeah. video. And we out. <laughs>